Me even telling them how many people live here is because I feel like cooperating to that point. You better start getting straight who you are and who they are and how things work around here. Yeah, the Constitution authorizes a census. It also authorizes Congress to make rules about it. The (laughs) The Constitution doesn't authorize or demand anything from you. If you'll read it, it doesn't say, oh, and the people are forced to answer. We're going to just, uh, you know, we're going to suspend the uh, First Amendment for, uh, you know, the years we have a census. That's not how it works, folks. The First Amendment stands all the time, every day, 24 hours a day, under all circumstances. You always have the right to say nothing. Your right to say nothing doesn't start when the cop says, oh, uh, let's see, uh, Dad, let me get my card out. Huh? You have the right to remain silent. Of course I do. You always have the right to remain silent. You know what? Like when you're driving down the road, folks. Now, I drove down the road with no insurance and no license for 11 years. And there's certain hosts out there that say, would they be responsible? That's irresponsible. Oh, really? Insurance. If I don't have insurance, it's irresponsible. So betting against myself is is good. That's that's a good thing. I was it was pointed out to me yesterday that you know insurance was illegal in the United States until I think nineteen thirteen or something when New York made it legal. Anyway, that's a different issue. But the bottom line is if you want to get along in society and you want to follow the statutes, when you get pulled over by a cop, all you're really required to do is give him your driver license and your registration and your proof of insurance. That's all he asks for. You're not required to have a conversation with this man or woman. Now, he may not like that, uh, but what are you going to do? You're going to arrest somebody? Well, it seems like your license is in order. Or your registration is in order. It looks as appears here that you are insured. But I'm arresting you because you would not have a conversation with me. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm waiting for that. Hasn't happened yet. Now, what got me started on the census, you may ask? Well, because... Outspoken Republican Representative Michelle Bachman says she's so worried that information from next year's national census will be abused that she will refuse to fill out anything more than the number of people in her household. In an interview Wednesday morning with the Washington Times America's Morning News, Ms. Mrs. Bachman, Minnesota Republican, said the, question, the questions have become very intricate, very personal. And she also fears ACORN, the community organizing group, that came under fire for its voter registration efforts last year will be part of the Census Bureau's door-to-door information collection efforts. Well, they will be. Obama owes them. I know for my family, the only question we will be answering is how many people are in our home. We won't be answering any information beyond that because the Constitution doesn't require any information beyond that. Well, the Constitution doesn't, but the Constitution... You see, lawmakers don't even know. They don't know. The Constitution specifically says that Congress can make laws regulating this. Okay, great. But you know what? Just because Congress makes a law doesn't mean it applies to you. Doesn't mean it applies where you live. They have to have jurisdiction. All right? Just And the authorization comes from the Constitution. What does the Constitution say? They can take a numbering of the people. Okay, an accounting of the people. Great. There ain't nothing in the Constitution that says, oh yeah, and the people are uh, required to answer. Oh, really? Oh, hello, Mr. Uh, census Worker, or Mrs. Census Worker. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to inform you that I will be exercising my First Amendment right, well, my First Amendment protected right, given to me by God, not you or the government, to not speak to you. 
You don't have to fill out anything. Just because Congress writes a law that says uh, the census has to go out and they're going to do it this way and that thing and, you know, this and that and the other thing, doesn't, doesn't allow them to, oh, yes, and we're suspending the First Amendment for this purpose. Oh, really? Yeah, well, you didn't overstep your uh, authority or at all, did you? Then you go back to the intent of the Constitution. What is the intent of a census? Well, the intent of the census is to count the people to figure out how to divvy up the representatives. Because that really is the only purpose Congress could possibly have in concerning itself with how many people there are and where they live. They have no other business to know that information. So, folks, you need to understand what's going on, how it works, how it's put together, and how it, who you are and who they are. Because if you don't, you're going to be just, you know, you might have the right idea, like this woman has the right idea, this representative here has the right idea, she realizes something's rare, very wrong with this, that they, I don't think they have the right to do this. But she's got it wrong why they don't have the right. And if your argument's wrong, you're going to lose it. Even if your premise was right. Your premise is, hey, you don't have the right to, I don't have to answer this. Yeah, that's the right premise. But if you're going to say the Constitution doesn't require it, you better be able to explain that. Shelly Lowe, a spokeswoman for the U.S. Census Bureau, says Mrs. Bachman is misreading the law. Hmm, let's see now. Some agency spokeswoman is going to tell a lawmaker that she's misreading the law. That's a good one. She sent a portion of the U.S. legal code that says anyone over 18 years of age who refuses to answer any of the questions on the census can be fined up to $5,000. Hmm, yeah, okay. That's good. Where's your authority? Oh, let's go back to the Constitution. The Constitution requires a census to be taken every 10 years. Questions range from number of persons in the household and, uh and ra- racial information to employment status, and whether anyone receives social services such as food stamps. Mrs. Bachman said she's worried about the involvement of ACORN. There will be a change. Uh, there will be a charge of going door-to-door and collecting data from the American public, she said. This is very concerning. ACORN has applied to help recruit workers to help conduct the census. Republican lawmakers and some public interest groups have expressed concern over their involvement. ACORN staffers have been indicated in several states on charges of voter registration fraud stemming from the organization's effort to register voters last year. Mrs. Bachman, who is in her second term in the House, has become a lightning rod for criticism from Democrats and liberal talk show hosts for her unapologetic conservative views. Good for her. She said she considers that a badge of honor. It's clear when a person speaks out against those policies, they become a target, and that should be concerning to everyone. Concerning? Why should it concern you? We have an ad. We are supposed to have an adversarial system, folks. You know all this baloney about consensus and let's get along and let's have a big tent and all this other crap is just that. We are an adversarial society. Our government is set up adversarial. Our courts are set up in an adversarial manner. We are an adversarial people. I got an idea. You got an idea. We don't agree. We argue about it. If I don't change your mind, we both walk away mad. That's how it works here in the United States until they brought the dialectic into the schools where now let's sit around the table and all decide what we can swallow. So now everybody walks away a little dissatisfied, but nobody's really pissed off about it. And now we're all commies. Woohoo! That worked out real good. You know what, folks? And when they say, oh, $5,000, you know what? If you're not ready to fight, then just, you know, just go lay down somewhere. 
Oh, you got to answer all the questions or else. Really? So uh, can you show me where in here did the First Amendment just get, uh, you know, suspended for this little thing here? Huh? Oh, oh, and by the way, uh, I, I live in the state of Oregon here. And oh, yeah, yeah, that's right here. I have the same protection under the state constitution. Folks, I really, really encourage you to learn the Bill of Rights from your state. You're listening to AVR, the American Voice Radio Network. We're on free-to-air KU band satellite at Galaxy 19 at 97 degrees west. Frequency 11836 vertical with symbol rate 20.770 PID left audio channel. Visit our website 